Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the Age of Imperials mod for, of course, Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. Russia Lover. But right now, we are still at war with the Germans, still the Kalshtis. We've pushed in a little bit more, actually, against those dirty, dirty German boys. We've killed off about a million of them, we've taken 150,000 losses ourselves. Overall, not too bad. I've cleaned this up just a little bit more, as you can tell. We had a real big concentration of soldiers down here, but... Right now, we're going to begin and move up north, hopefully. Ooh, some Georgians. No, Moroccans there. Ooh. And we did more and more ambitious aircraft designs, of course. During the crisis, Moscow design offices have not stopped working. It's time to bring the new ambitious structures to life. French colonialism is back. Cool. Um, we can do stuff over there. Uh, I did some of this other stuff as well. Officer exchange program. In order for the Ethiopian army to become at least partially professional, an officer exchange program will be needed. Where Russian officers will go to Ethiopia to gain valuable experience, and Ethiopians will travel to Russia to gain valuable knowledge at our military academies. And since we're here anyways, exchange of thoughts on warfare. Continued promotion of officer exchanges can bring tangible results for both sides. Very nice. Uh, civilian economy, war economy, that's not too bad. Military spending is okay. 3% more organization is okay. Weekly war sport, eh, seems okay. What are we building up right now? More militias, cities, roads? Cities? Okay, sure, why not? Civilian economy, should up all the infrastructure as well? Yes, please. Land ports. Couple, couple comments go through, such as... This mod makes wars feel like it's halfway between World War One and World War Two. You are correct, because World War One I, I don't think, actually happened. And someone also says we should get the free research slots. I would like to, but we need more stability. So that's going to take some time for us to get more stability. Um, yeah. We'll see what happens. How much support do we have here? 31%. Cool. It's still going up slightly. I don't mind spending political power on that stuff. Anything here? Stability. Mm, political power gain, huh? You get more stability that way, too. You know what? Why not? Encourage work for the state. So we're going to try our best. Smash some German boys. Maybe beat up some Austrian boys. And then maybe call it a campaign. Just because, I don't know. That's the way I kind of want to roll. So, And who are we over here? We are over here in China. Still trying to beat them up. Even though we're not being completely successful. Actually, it's more like the Chinese are not being super successful. Oh, we have four XL divisions. Oh, yeah. Ethiopia lost. Oh, well. You guys come up here. And what type of division template do you use? 20 combat widths. It's not bad. Horse boys, um, here, we'll put you all down there, because we can, because we love you, so much, just so much, cancel the lease, alright, we definitely need more arty, which sucks, but oh well, so the goal is, get it maybe over here, they have a lot of infantry, there are a lot of sultans in Morocco, can we actually win there maybe, I would love if we could actually win there, go to there, and send half you guys with them maybe, yes, no, maybe so, Guys, this is... The defenses are pretty thick, not gonna lie. As you can tell, they're pretty darn thick. We do have air superiority, which is pretty nice. They're about to run out of airplanes, it looks like, maybe, possibly, too. But you never know. We, of course, we lost. Now, what if we force the attack with these guys? You should be able to win then, right? And then war maneuvers in the name of friendship. Our program to support Ethiopian army seems to be paying off. Soon the only independent army of the Black Continent will be able to undertake an equal battle with the enemy in terms of its tactical abilities. Alright, so this time with infantry leading is much better. Much, 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 much better. Race to the coast. Race, 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 Sergei. Race. Nice. The infantry got in there first, which is weird, but go, 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 go. Wherever you guys stay there for now. If you possibly can. You can still flexing his muscles. Oh boy. Oh boy. Nice. Yeah, these... These guys are disappointing us. They're so bad. Why are they so bad? We have air superiority. We have uh, supply and infrastructure. Yeah. Lack of fuel. And you guys suck. If that's the case, just do this. Cool. Battle cruisers. Cool. Let them come in. I mean, obviously we're not shooting down everything we possibly can, but we're doing the best we can over here. War maneuvers, why not? And then grants for the agriculture development. Due to the difficult climate, Ethiopia, Ethiopia's always struggled with periods of hunger. Supporting the, uh, the agriculture with modern technology and currency should improve the situation at least a little bit. Nice. Go in. And force the attack. What matters isn't the territory so much as as much as destroying the divisions. Oh, you can guys can hang go. Come on, Sergey, go 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 go. Don't disappoint us too much. Cancel okay, so unleash. Getting crystalline will be very good for a switch for convoys. Sinking lots and lots and lots of convoys. Good. 
They still have Danzig, of course, but still. Go, go, go. Keep these guys in place. You don't have to move. Nice. Oh, overran, and the division will die there. And next up, we'd like to come this way, too, and just encircle a few more dudes. Yuki has invaded the French Republic. Very nice, very nice, very nice. I know Ethiopia has already fallen, but I want to keep helping them out. But now we're going to go shift somewhere else. Let's go strengthen our Persia, our southern bridgehead. Persia is our faithful companion in the Middle East. It is necessary to keep the country in good condition because their help will be invaluable in the final stages of the great game. Absolutely. Um, long without king without a crown. Yeah, I don't know. On the back now. Come on, I know they can't pierce him just yet, but still. They're doing force defense, aren't they? Maybe not. My goodness, that took a while. I would like to try a general attack, but just supply is so bad here. Escrow cures are not bad either. Hmm. You guys are 40 combat width. You guys are 40 combat width as well. They do require quite a bit of supply, which sucks. Oh, what's this? Research? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Better anti air, perhaps? Where can we support better uh, here? Oh, definitely in the southern area, yeah. Something like that. And then, strengthening their de defense capabilities. The Persian border with the British sphere of influence is incredibly heavy to defend. It's necessary to support the Persian program of building fortifications in order to make it easier for them to prepare a defensive war plan. Nice. Better organization, better organization. We love, love, love it. Let's so move down and around. Very nice. Oh, the heavy integralism, god dang it. Extraction, sure. Donations, purge infiltrators. Huh. Eh, we're kind of okay for that. Nice. Let's move around. Get there eventually. Let the 22 uh, divisions lead there. Something like that. Scoot around if you have to. Something like that. Cool. And then, connection with, of Tehran with the trans Siberian Railway. The economic development of Persia largely depends on how efficient is the infrastructure connection of our countries. So it's necessary to look at this issue more closely. Go, 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 go. Nice. Send him in. Wow, how are we losing here? I don't understand how we're losing with the best line doctrine. Or close to the best line doctrine. Literally makes no sense, man. Air superiority? Do we have it? Yes, we do. We definitely have air superiority, so... This literally makes no sense to me whatsoever. Do we need more planes? Do we have any more planes? Are they like bombers? Yes, we do. Huh. Cossack training program. The Persians, several decades ago, borrowed from us a, re a cavalry formation, which are the Cossacks. Now, in the face of constantly changing battlefields, it's necessary to carry out joint military maneuvers aimed at exchanging experiences between our armies. You should have already won here by now. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous and unacceptable, man. You should win here easily. This literally makes zero sense whatsoever. We can't pierce them, huh? BS. Complete BS, man. We will win somewhere here. I swear to God, we will win somewhere here. Because AI is cheating. It's cheating so hard. It's ridiculously bad how hard the AI cheats in this mod. Because, why, why, why does our division strength and organization just drop like crazy compared to them? 
Makes literally no sense. Literally no sense. Can't advance, can't do anything, just can't do jack diddly squat. Makes no sense. With air superiority, and while we can't pierce them all the time, it's just infantry on infantry, you still can't do anything either. How does that make any sense? It doesn't. Hmm. They're attacking us? Well, congrats, I guess. Why do we just go right here? Force it. Integrated combo defense, get some of that. Sell out of already. Oh my god. Stop it. Stop losing. I literally t told you to force the attack. A troublesome relationship with Bukhara. Bukhara always thought autonomous within Russia gave importance uh, after the Great Muslim Revolt of 1916, which resulted in the exile of many Muslims to the country. Now the royal situation is on change again, and Islam is no longer a threat to Russia. It's imperative to repair relations between our countries. Seriously? How? The game cheats so bad we're hard. It literally cheats. There's nothing else, there's no, no other way to explain it. Look at all this air superiority we have. All the damage we can do to them. It does nothing. It means nothing. Why? I'd rather kill off my little tank divisions than lose here. Does not make a single lick of sense whatsoever. Um. Get some heavy boys. Go to Kustrin. You guys keep these pieces of crap in place. We're going to Kustrin. We're going. We need a supply. Come on, move your butts in there. Did we actually win there? No, we actually defeated someone. One of these divisions. Kustrin, come on. Support for the local, uh, for support the for the expansion of local infrastructure. People in Bukhara often live in extreme poverty. Some help on our part would be able to improve their fate. Jet Uruguay's gone. Watch out now. Come on, get in there, get in there, get in there. Why are you... <gasps> you pieces of garbage, go! We fought way too hard to lose this territory. Yeah, I, I hate the AI sometimes in this game. I hate it so much. Please. Oh, we actually won here, huh? Oh, thanks a lot, game. Uh, let's see. The program of disrupting Muslim terror cells. Bukhara's exile site for years contributed to a significant congregation of people with extremely anti-Russian views. It would be reasonable and for good for both countries to remove people with these views from the public sphere and arrest and call for justice on more radical revolutionaries. Easing relations between Russia and Islam. Thanks to a new relationship with Bukhara, it's now possible to begin a new stage in the history of Russian Islam, in which this religion will be viewed with less, less, as less hostile than before. Yeah, no thanks. I don't care. No, you should be able to win there. I'm sorry, but you really should. Air Doctrine... No, we maxed it out already. Some better fires, maybe? <laughs> so stupid. The AI loves cheating so flippin' much. Why? What's the point of having the AI cheat so much here? Force it. I don't care these divisions die. Honestly, it's better they do die, just because, uh, that supply usage there, then. Eight divisions, my god. Success of Italian colonialism. Very biased towards the player. Keep going in. 
Disrupting them, that'd be good. We have fighters, land docking's done. Anti air, maybe. No, I'm sorry, but no. You're gonna take it whether you like it or not. You're not leaving. Neither are you. Fight and die to the last man here. Nope. You're gonna win here whether you like it or not. This is ridiculous. Yeah, this mod needs some serious work when, like, just, just death stacking. I don't understand how we cannot win here with air superiority like this. It literally makes no sense. Using relations. Um, yeah, if you wonder about uh, the great colonization of Siberia is a beautiful concept of Prime Minister Stolypin, which consists in utilizing the vast space if we rule beyond the Urals in a very useful way, while reducing the overpopulation in the European part of our country. Now that Siberia has become a much more civilized place, a new colonization program should be focused on maximizing the efforts of recent years. I mean, this is ridiculous. No matter what we do, we just can't win. Why are we being set up to fail so hard? And it's not just this mod, or not just on this campaign, but like in other mods too, like... Or other campaigns of this mod. More armor and speed. Yeah, lots of speed, lots of armor. Max that sucker out. Oh, do we actually win here finally? Thank God. Oh, uh, you guys just hold. You guys gonna hang out. You gonna lose here again? Yeah, you guys suck. You guys suck way too hard. Force it. Thank God we actually got it. I'm sorry for complaining this much, but just, it's so aggravating when this happens. Give them some time. They're going to start starving soon enough. And, oh, you guys just swarm them. So we're not out of tanks. Heavy tanks could be converted more. Let's see, tank divisions. Ah, oh, tanky, 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 tanky tanks. Maybe we can put at least one more of these bad boys over there. You go. A little bit more armor, a little more strength, a little more push. Fighter 2 is nice. Uh, what about better logistics? It's a little bit ahead of time, but that's fine. We've just It's very heavy. I don't see a point of even attacking right now. Just give them some time first. Fighter Unos. Should relatively easily be able to win. You know, to Siberia with love? Oh, you bet. We're gonna love it hard. If you're gonna love, you're gonna love hard. Stand for the great game to end. The British have no friends over everlasting interests. We had the opportunity to see this for ourselves, and it would be appropriate to let the islanders know that Russia does not forget the wrongs it has been done to it. Revenge for Tsushima. We have waited a long time for an opportunity to pay back Japan for the harm they've caused us at the beginning of the century. Now that the Russia is so close to world domination, it's possible to teach the Japanese a lesson they'll never forget. Nice. Now we have nearly enough. Just going to do that one this time. Did we win? Yay! Actually, if anything, uh... Hmm. Since they use the Enigma. They have no artillery. They have a couple guns. No artillery left, though. They're attacking us just a wee bit. Mexico has ambitions. I want to do a general attack. Okay, Poland. I want to kill Poland so hard. Like, I, I hate the Poles right now so much. I should not have to ask for control of the state. We've 
We are the reasons why we took all this off. Really, Poland? I'm about to get ready to kick him from the faction. That's pathetic and stupid. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't like the mod in terms of just... Oh, that's a very nice strike, though. Uh, like, how stacky it gets, and there's no pushing you can do even with air superiority. It literally makes no sense whatsoever. How we are suffering, like, from all these problems, and the AI does not. So, yeah, I don't understand, and I really don't like how this has been developed. It's not fun. If anything, can we set up a collaboration government? Oh, someone else got it. In person, huh? it's fine. Orchestrate a coup? Oh, yeah, this would be good to do. Yeah, this is exactly what we want. Uh, there you go, and... That would be very good. Yeah, you guys suck so hard. Even heavy tanks. Heavy tanks cannot pierce enemy divisions. You know it's bad. You know it's extraordinarily bad when you have air superiority. You have heavy tanks that cannot pierce enemy divisions. And I'm going to kill the poles so hard. You give us this state. Give us something here so we can improve infrastructure and stuff. Yeah, I'm killing them off in the end. Screw the poles. They don't deserve life. We tried being nice with them, but they rejected us at every single turn. Who designed this? I don't, I don't, I want to know who designed this. How can we not win here with air superiority like this? How? How, how, how? Let's try a general attack. Well, we're just going to lose, aren't we? I don't care what the cost is. I really don't. I'm just sick of all the stupid grinding here. It's one of the worst mods for grinding, it seems like. Let's look at all that. I mean, my god. There's nothing you can do. There's literally nothing you can do. Oh, look, at, look at all that damage we're doing. 15 damage? And we still can't push. We still can't push out. Why? You know what? At this point, we're Russia. If we rack up a much, much, a whole much more, more casualties, so be it. I don't care. Conservatism is growing in strength now. We're okay. At this point, I just don't care anymore. Just math stackings all over the place. It looks like we're pushing in just a little bit, but like, it's just so annoying. It's not fun. We just grind, 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 grind. Oh, good job, Austria. Good job. It's not fun at all. We just grind, 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 grind. If we wanted a grinding simulator, we probably would have played uh, uh, the Great War or something. After this one, traders will play with their blood. Uh, Soyuz Niki is an alliance of lovers during the duration of the world order and enemies of the revolution. Each of our subordinate countries that leaves this organization automatically allies with the revolution, thus becoming our enemy. It matters not how many men die for this, because I'm sick of this. And I hope you're sick of it too. Like, this is stupid. Like, the amount of grinding you have to do to just push a little bit is stupid. It's ridiculous. Um, Artillery is looking pretty god-awful for them. They, they should be out of guns. And it looks like for the most part, they are... So, they have a few guns. No, that's motorized. Right. So, you have to be done. All you have to do is just sacrifice thousands of men for the meat grinder, and you'll be okay. You, you too will be alright. Yeah, there's no way we're going to stop these attacks. No way. Especially when the Germans are out of stuff. Golden Gate Bridge is nice. what they wanted. Runs for Tsushima. Not bad. Nope. Don't care. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of red. <sighs> it's incredibly annoying doing it like this. But at least Berlin's a frontline city. No, 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 no. If we can't win on the offense, how can they be afforded to win on defense? Oh, they're decrypted. Good. Good. It looks like they're finally, finally, slowly falling apart. Maybe just a wee bit. 
last one was shot down, which sucks. <sighs> gotta love it. You gotta love when you gotta just literally just push through and grind. Oh. Huh. All you can do here is grind. That's all you're given to do. Which, I mean, it makes sense, like, the comment from someone earlier. Halfway between World War I and World War II, even with, like, World War II tanks, basically, it's still not enough. It's just not enough. You can't push. You have no supply. And if your ally doesn't give you the territories, so you can't build on them. Which, I, I've always questioned why. If anything, if a country wants to build in your country and make it better, like, there should be an option to let you do that. So, I don't understand why we can't. Just make sure they have no equipment left. I mean, we've got, like, probably no equipment left either. Heavy tanks are pretty bad right now. It's fine. Hey, we took Berlin, though. That's pretty good. We've lost 660,000. They've lost nowhere near enough. 1.8 million. Magdeburg. We can't stop the attacks, and we just cannot. Because we got to make sure that they have no equipment left. Which I hate to do, but, like, I literally see no other way around this. Right? And the rest pass fists. We can do that. No, why not? Agent captured. Wait, what? What? No. Okay. Pursues Greek submission. Checking up Europe. Ah, oh, this is so stupid. The amount of grinding you have to do is just not fun. I, mean, I don't understand why the devs put it in there like this. Just not fun. Go ahead and go back and like reform your front lines. Because in the northern part, it's actually doing relatively okay. Now you come into the war? Okay. Let's grind some more. You know, Romania should be pretty easy to take out, actually. Yeah, they look pretty darn weak, so that's okay with us. Just six three seventy eight seventy nine. There we go. Shoot up with slightly, at least a little bit. Uh, airport expansion program. If we really want to be able to defend the Russian airspace, we must create an air appropriate infrastructure that will enable our planes to take off and land at suitable places. Oh, he passes away. And for assistance to find shelter in the event of an air threat. Things not looking good for them, but whatever. Five. We just have to keep grinding, and there's literally nothing we can do except grind, 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 grind. I mean, maybe a pair but like even then, it's not enough. Five, four, three, two. We gotta go in. Any rest that they get is is too much of a rest. Dutch East Indies. Look at all that red. This is ridiculous. I cannot recommend this mod. I just cannot. Because there's nothing you can do. There's literally nothing you can do. It's way too grind. It's like Kaiserreich, American Civil War. It's way too grindy. Even with, you see, you see, am I going crazy? Like, we have air superiority here, right? Even with air superiority. Even with shooting down their planes. Even with making sure that they literally have no equipment left. They can still hold out. I don't understand what we're doing wrong. I know infantry sucks. But still, they're 40 combo widths. They got, you know, some good amount of uh, soft stack and, you know, stuff like that. It's still not enough. I just don't understand. Improving the Trans-Siberian Aviation Infrastructure, though. The Trans-Siberian Railway could seriously benefit from enriching its offer with trans air transport. And thanks to these airports, it will soon be easier for Air Force to protect the airspace in Siberia and beyond. One thing, I hate Poland. Poland needs to die. It has to die. No, I'm not coming to your stupid war unless you give us the territory back, so... Force the attack. Force the attack. I do not care if you die or not. There goes Romania. That's pretty good. Ah, so now we have all this border guard as well, huh? It's fine. We'll be fine. Spread them out. Spread them very much out. Poland can go eat a fat dick. That's all I can say. Make the Germans pay for all this. No equipment for them is good for us. Especially with these guys coming down and crashing on us. Yeah, we can't go in just yet. 
We really cannot. Don't you love the grind? The extreme, extreme grind through everything. Even with their superiority, we still can't do anything. Pietrangel, nothing there. Anton Dinikin, nice. Ah, air defense and construction program. Our industrial centers cannot be damaged by enemy air raids. We must provide them with absolute anti-aircraft protection that allows them to work peacefully even in the face of enemy bomber attacks. At least we're pushing up in the north. Screw Poland. Oh, we lost a division. Oh, well, I don't care. They undermine Swiss neutrality? That's nice. As long as they got no infantry equipment, no artillery, nothing. How many planes they got? Looks like nothing. They might have a few extra fighters here and there. But other than that, that's like pretty much it. It's fine, I'll come in more now. I'll have to defend. Yeah, go kill yourself. Come on in, Austria. See what you can do. Especially with 40 combo width and you still can't do anything. That's pretty bad. This mod, I, I'll be honest, needs some more work. This is... It's so... It has so much potential. But it's just so grindy. They can't even feel a fully... Uh, fleshed out army, and they're still able to push us back a little bit. 340 divisions, 3 million manpower. Their stockpile's looking honestly pretty good for them. So, we gotta keep setting for gap. Oh, the goose are down here too. It's fine, whatever. It's fine. Did you lose yet? Stupid tanks. Alright. Building air connections between the most important cities. Our main industrial cities should have their own air corps to defend them against enemy air raids. In the period of peace, these airports can also be used as means of transport. Air transport considered positive. Did I read that one earlier? I might have. Also, oh, we can invade by anybody else. Who are we fighting, actually? I'm not paying attention. Mexico crusades against the US. Alright, a tripartite. X pact. Uh, and then. Not this one, we already read this one. Establishment radar network. Radar is a fascinating invention of our era that allows detecting enemy planes before they even invade our airspace. Uh, the development of a ne network of radar stations in key places in a country will provide us with invaluable information in the event of conflict. Uh, so we're done with that stuff. That's nice. Medium tanks are okay. Grab some of that stuff. So yeah, I mean, this is just turned into a grind fest and it's just not fun. It's just not fun. Not sure why... I mean, I can't understand why they de designed it like this, but... It's not fun. Sure, guys, we'll come on in. Sure. You can give us all those divisions, and I'm going to delete them all. Thank you. Goodbye. I don't want to deal with them. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to deal with either. That's fine. Yugoslavia is doing their absolute best right now. I mean, seriously, if they have no guns and artillery, why can they still hold out? Question of the ages. Why? Great Hong Kong typhoon. I mean, look at that. Look at look, look how ridiculous it is. We can't even beat these guys up, can we? No, we cannot. I mean, I don't know what the devs are thinking. They don't want us to do well. Uh, incredible idea of parachute troops. The concept of air troop or borne troops seem to be quite ambitious, if a bit crazy. It's essential to carry out further tests to see if it actually is possible to create such troops. Goodbye. As long as we defeat the Germans, that's the most important thing. I really don't want to go to war with the French at this point. Like, I, I, I don't like this. This mod is just... It's turning me off so hard. Like, I don't want to go to war and just grind all the time. It's so boring that way. Did our navy die? Where, where's the navy? Oh my god. That's so stupid. Actually, since you're here anyways... Yeah, I think I'm just going to kill off the Germans. Uh, this is not fun. Killing off, trying to kill off the Austrians too. And I said I wanted to do that, but at the same time, it just no. I mean, look at this. Ridiculous. Shots over the Danube. Austria seeks revenge. 
It's Yugoslavia. I mean, Yugoslavia is holding out quite well. So. One and a half million casualties. This is just ridiculous. This should not be happening. It should, they should have already died by now, but... Hmm. But that's good. We got the collaboration government done, basically. Ah, uh, airplanes of the future. Another very ambitious project is on the desk of His Majesty today. Approval of its construction will mark a breakthrough in the history of the aviation in the Rus in Russia and the world. It's actually very good. There goes Denmark. Huh? Denmark really was an issue, though. We still have to fight Sweden too, but overall, oh, well, that's not good. That's not good. Come on, just destroy Germany. Come on. Because we've destroyed the Germans, then it's all over. What, they were closer than that? I'm not dealing with this up here. I'm not, I'm not dealing with it. No. This is stupid. This is so stupid. I hate this so much. Why does Poland get all the territory? Why? And that's not a, that's not a mod thing. That's just a Hoi 4 thing. That's a stupid Hoi 4 thing that's never been fixed. Which, I still question why, but, you know, whatever. Come on, just capitulate the Germans. That's all I want right now. Just please capitulate them. Please, 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 please. Also go in when you can. Oh my god, go in. Go in. I wish... Oh my god, I wish I could just give them supply. Why can't I build roads here? Why? You know what? Screw it. You guys come over here. This is so stupid. So incredibly stupid. Sorry I'm turning negative. It's just... It's just not fun like this. Look at this. What the heck? Yeah, I'm sorry, but I'm going to use, have to use Cons Command or something, because I just don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I don't want to fight the Tripartite Act Pact until we're ready, but... The Germans just won't give up. I don't understand why it just... We can't win. When we have air superiority, using 40 combo with divisions, we have more divisions than them, we have more equipment than them, we've got all this stuff going for us, but you still can't win. Why? What am I doing wrong? Like, we even have a bunch of uh, spies in enemy territory, too. To make sure that we at least up knew what they were doing, we could see their stats, we could see their equipment levels, we could uproot a little bit of entrenchment by doing this ex as well. I just don't understand why. But the concept of special units. Special infantry units are not a new concept in the Russian army. But more research will undoubtedly be needed if we want to bring this project to a happy end. The strategies and tactics for new infantry formation. Tactics for airborne troops differ from those by our regular front troops. as necessary to devote time to the theoretical issues of combat for these troops. Oh my god, come on. It's so laggy. This mod's just so incredibly laggy, too. It, it just doesn't make any sense. Like, I cannot recommend this mod. Look at this. This thin, thin, thin line by putting getting supplies through here. Why? Just die, Germany! My god! My god! Thank you. Thank God. I'm sorry that I'm being so negative, but I hate this mod now. I mean, like, I, I don't like this. I don't like how incredibly grindy it is for no reason. Literally, no reason. Especially when you have basically a better army than the enemies. Doesn't make any sense to me. But I'm going to finish this piece off screen and get ready for the tripartite pack. All right, everyone. So I've taken a little bit of a break. Calm down just a little bit, but still pretty much of the same opinion that this mod just loves grinding, grinding, grinding. Um, because we went to we went to where the tripartite pack, right? No, tripartite faction, basically. Um... So basically, the French were very unprepared for our invasion uh, once we capitulated the Germans. So, yeah, they're not doing so well. Obviously, we're not doing great against Austrians, the Greeks, other peoples. But yeah, we just finished strategies and tactics for infantry, new infantry formation. Tactics for airborne troops differ from those used by regular front troops. It's necessary to devote time to the theoretical issues of combat of these troops. Uh, developing the concept of war at sea. If we're not able to keep pace with the opponent of the, with firepower and numbers, then at least with tactics we can succeed. Korolev uh, Research Center. Korolev has been running his missile research bureau since the early 1930s. We should finally give him due attention and invest in his research bureau. Who knows? Maybe beautiful features just around the corner. Maybe. Probably don't get encircled here because that would really suck. I think we're pretty close to getting encircled, but as long as we can capitulate the French, that would be very good, first of all. Then we can rush into the Italian lands and then hopefully strike the Austrians. Hopefully fairly quickly, but yeah. I do apologize for earlier, just kind of being a little ragey. Just, just, I'm, I'm sick and tired of just nothing but grinding in this mod. And when you just grind, grind, grind in Hoi 4, it's just not very fun, at least in my opinion. Now, some people might love the grind, and it can certainly be exploited to be very useful. It's just... It's all you do in the mod. 
to just grind. And I know it was supposed to be a meat grinder since World War One didn't happen, but yeah, I wish it was a little, uh, I don't know, a little less grindy. Of course, it doesn't help that there's a lot of lag. You look at the, look at the game speed right now. We're maxed out. But pretty good beefy CPU CPU for us here, anyways. But still, um, let's take a look. Oh, oh my God, this is glitched. Darn it, that sucks. Uh, anything else around here? Not too much now. Oh, we lost a sub. That sucks. Ah, you guys are without a port, basically. Because these guys just kept sneaking in like a bunch of cheaters that they are. <sighs> this is so annoying. And, of course, the lag doesn't help us at all, but still. Um, we don't have any decryption done. Yeah, it sucks. And we can't even see how far we are to capitulating them. It really, really, really does suck. Take all those areas if you can, please. Thank you very much. Shake Shabog first. Yeah, let the French go. This should open up quite a few more things here. It's probably promoted. Very nice. Um, yeah. We're doing the best we can. Not much. Especially when these guys have, like... They really should have nothing here. They have no infantry equipment, no artillery. They got a couple planes. That's pretty much it. Uh, that's not good around here, huh? Alright, we'll do that one. Sikorsky's amazing invention. Sikorsky is a guru of Russian aviation constructors who, about 10 years ago, abandoned the continuation of his work on airplanes in favor of a completely new type of flying machine, a helicopter. Those inventions are of great interest to our supreme command. Cool. Come on, take out the capital. Go, 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 go. Those French guys got to D.I.E. D.I.E. Come on, get that capital. Cool, come on. Come on. God, these heavy tanks was such a mistake. They get pierced super easily. They can't kill anything sometimes. It's just really sad sometimes. And the guys just want to get encircled so badly. Nice. Every cloud, alright. How much of France do we... Okay, that's ridiculous. You should not need to take all the way down to Bordeaux to capitulate the French. That doesn't make any sense. You're taking literally everything but Bordeaux. And that's not enough. Really? Really? It's so stupid. And it sounds so incredibly stupid. But, eh, you never know. Maybe the mod developers will develop something. But now, that should really help us out here. I hate Poland. I hate them so much. Poland can go die in a hole. Can die in a very, very fiery hole for this campaign. Um, after that, get some more heavy tanks. We will definitely need some chromium as well. Yeah, that'd be good. Thank you very much. Oh, look at this. Oh, crap. This is not going to be good. Free City, Indonesia. Um... That's going to suck to take. I'm not going to lie. Uh, Swiss Confederation? How much is that going to cost? Way too much. But honestly, I don't really care. I'm probably just going to do this off screen anyways. Just so we can get through this as fast as possible. And there we have it, my friends. I've already gone ahead and pretty much just annexed them all because, well, it helps reduce the lag. But we're currently doing Dreams of the Conquest of Space. In 37. Almost 38. Kotolev has a very ambitious a man when it comes to rocket structures, in his opinion, in the next 10 years. It will be possible to send a man rocket into space, and in 20 years, even to the moon. And although it sounds unbelievable, undoubtedly this man has a certain aura that allows us to believe him in what, that what he says is actually true. Upgrade to conventional weapons missiles. Taking advantage of the fact that we've devoted our time to more ambitious missile designs, it would be used, wise to use the knowledge gained also to create better designs for more basic weapon missile weapons. Cool. As, as you can see, we're just like normal grinding away at the Italians, which we're doing okay-ish. I wish we were doing better, especially since we're sending tanks into the mountains, but... Oh, well, did they can this? No, god dang, we still can't see that. That sucks. We could go to war with the Japanese, but... We actually have slightly positive relations, so I don't want to screw it up just yet with those guys. Also, I did take the Chinese over there. That does look pretty nice. League of Nations, Commonwealth of Nations. Uh, I guess Americans are in the war, huh? Yeah, that's quite the mess. I would like to know, though... Um, Wow, guys looking pretty bad. Uh, besides that, heavy tanks, uh, artillery, artillery, guns, we're looking pretty good, honestly. Um, how, how, how long can these guys hold out? Because, uh, we have a battleship. No artillery. Well, they got a little bit of artillery. They got no anti-air. No anti-tank. No infantry equipment. And the artillery should be running out relatively soon-ish. Well, the, the Adolf dude. 
Looks like he's got no anti tank. He's got like no artillery. Uh, he has 43 units of basic rocket artillery, towed rocket artillery. Any guns? Doesn't look like it either. Got a couple motorized, so any more damage we do, we'll just be damage done. They need to test the theory and practice. Tactics for airborne troops differ from those used by regular front troops. That's necessary to devote time to the theoretical issues of combat of these troops. Nice. Keep going in in, guys. You're doing a okay. Not great. But okay. We've actually pushed into here quite a bit, which is really, really nice. Hmm. Yeah, even though we're attacking, I mean, we really shouldn't be. Um, you just gotta grind them. This mod is all about grinding. So, if I play this mod again, I'll definitely keep in mind that when in doubt, make sure you grind her out. So, yeah, that's definitely not the way I like to play my Hoi 4. But then again, maybe that's just me. Um, do they have manpower? They probably have quite a bit of manpower. Yeah, 100 million. Everyone has just way too much manpower on this mod. It makes sense why, but just too much manpower. Oh, look at us. We have 23 million. That's ridiculous. I think something that would help this mod for even people because it's just, it's just, like I said earlier, a grind fest. What they could use is a war exhaustion mechanic because that's what they had in World War One, right? So why don't we bring that type of a thing back? Oh, look at this Portuguese Republic. Good job. Goodbye. I think a war exhaustion mechanic, especially since we, we have so, many, so much equipment, so much manpower, something else has got to give for this mod. So I think... Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. And I could be wrong. I could be completely wrong. But, I could also be slightly right sometimes. Hmm. We'll gladly take more steel. Just slowly grinding them into nothing. Staff from the air airborne troops of the Russian Empire. The airborne troops are close to the end of the formation process. Soon there'll be a great parachute show near Moscow, during which will show what will be characterized by modern war. Which we might use these, but we'll see what happens. We have no transport, so. Nope, well, better start making some transport planes. If you need a repair, that's totally fine with us. Keep sneaking on through if you can. Yeah, take... Oh, Budapest is not even... Oh, Vi oh, no wonder we took Vienna. Vienna usually is the capital, but still. Gotta love the grind. Let's see. Recon Company 3s. Mediums. Go straight, just moderns. Just go get some better fighters. Screw it. Get the better fighters. Because here's priority wise, besides Yugoslavia, we're looking pretty green. It's a good amount of damage. It's a good amount of damage. Very good amount of damage there, too. So, now it's picking up. I don't know why it's so hard to kill off the Germans. Sometimes it just doesn't make any sense why it this mod has to be so difficult. Difficult in terms of just, just not being straightforward. Actually, I wish this was not glitch. Because these, these guys keep spreading out like crazy. Like, these guys are nuts. They don't care about their homeland at all. Not really, no. Because once we capitulate the Danubian Federation, the uh, Kingdom of Italy, especially once Italy, Italians are gone, Greece is not going to be able to hold up at all. At least they shouldn't be able to. Destroyers are the bases of our fleet. Destroyers are the basic Russian Navy ship use for basically all tasks around our na main naval bases. So we need their designs to be as good as possible. Absolutely. Hey, look, more de dead. How many have we lost in the last year? Casually, 3 million. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Only 3 million? Buddha, pest would be nice. But y'all, keep going. Cool. More naval stuff. Not like Russia really cares too much about naval stuff, but we'll still use it. Uh, Spain? Why not? What happened over here? Something happened. Lots of convoys. Nice. Ooh, we lost a destroyer. That sucks, bro. Yeah, Italy will slowly fall. How is 130 command power not enough to force the attack? Oh, he's sick. Okay, we do have enough. So Venice is gone. Rome is gone. 
Um, we're getting there. We're definitely getting there. Once the Italians are gone, a lot of these forces just will crumble. They, they will just crumble. I think the Austrians are pretty much done at this point, too. Yeah, they don't. They just don't have anything there. Yeah, more exhaustion would be a smart thing to add into the game. I mean, it would make the game laggier definitely, but still. We can't stop the attack just because we have to grind, and they keep expanding. So I don't. I, I understand. Like, we have to keep going. There is no stopping here. There's literally no stopping. Mexico. Oh, good luck, Mexico, I guess. Um, Black Sunday, Bundy Beach. The 16 combo, which is not terrible. And they got a lot of support companies, too. So, uh, Submarines are the best we can have. Taking advantage of the fact that we've devoted our time to more ambitious missile designs would be wise to use the knowledge gained also to create better designs for more basic military or missile weapons. Oh, my God. Please give up, Italy. Please. Give up Austria or Danube Federation. I do want to play at least the new the, the Danube Federation at least once. Go in. Go in until you die. This is a capital, huh? What right a bunch of poopy people. Actually, you know what? Let's come over here. There we go. Better drop him here. Palermo. We'll try it. Nothing happened there. Great. go there you go not bad just because you can just in case we can't capitulate Italy without Palermo which is stupid but you never know basically it, southern Italy is completely almost completely open which is awesome pretty impulse of Siam cruises are the best solution Cruises is the best type of naval combat ship in our conditions, because it is well equipped enough to be able to fight the enemy with low production costs, enabling us to produce it in sufficient quantities. Go, 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 where are you guys at right now? You are taking way too long for this. Zukov, I think you're more of a tank guy, but whatever. Oh, yeah, do we have a lot of guys repairing? No, we don't have a lot of guys repairing, huh? Come on, light cruisers, do something. <laughs> Stupid light cruisers, can't even kill enemy ships. Thank God, okay, so we didn't have to make a uh, pair drop into them. But I just hope it'll be pretty darn beneficial to do so. These guys will fall hopefully very soon too. Kolosvar. Come on, man. Just give up. Uh, at this point, the Austrians need... The Danube Reich has to give up. Like, this literally makes no sense. If we're taking all of this, of the Danube Federation or the Reich, why do we need this stupid province? I mean, look at them. We're, we're literally in Yugoslavia. We're literally in Yugoslavia. Now. Coordination of the ships and maximization of the capabilities. The Russian fleet must reach a pinnacle of tactical abilities in order to be able to match our rivals. 
Pretty much, man. Pretty much. Now, these guys are all encircled over here, which is great to see. Oh, my God. I hate the UK. I hate, 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 hate the UK. Why do you have to nearly invade and cock block our troops, man? Anything over here? No? I'd love to do a general attack, but probably wouldn't be worth it. Oh, actually, you guys made it over the river? Oh, that's actually kind of interesting. You made it over the strait. Huh. Didn't see that one coming. Kill them all off. Good. Nice. Alright, so we took it. Th that's gotta be enough. Please tell me that's enough. Please, please, please. So laggy that you can't even tell. Alright, that's not enough. Who designed this? Please. Who designed this? This is stupid. This is so stupid. Why do we need Brasso? Yeah, I, th these victory points need to be readjusted. It's so stupid. It's so bad. At the very least, adjust victory points or make like a war exhaustion mechanic so that it influences how much or how little other victory points you need to capitulate. The flippin' Dan Danube Reich. They're not giving up because they literally own Brasso. That's that's literally it. That's literally all these are Yugoslavian. That's literally all Yugoslavian. This is Macedonian or Bulgarian or whatever. This, that is terrible. That is absolutely terrible, man. I hate turning this into a negative video, but like, why? To what purpose is it good to just grind out to the literal end? That didn't happen in World War I at all. Germany was pr pretty much, you know, spared. I mean, Russia was smacked down, but... And France was, you know, attacked. But then, you had to go all the way down to Bordeaux to capitulate them. Same thing for Italy. You had to push all the way to Hungary to capitulate them in World War I. Doesn't make sense. Does not make sense. British influence in Afghanistan. Hmm, I just hope we don't take a picture like Greece. Uh, there you go, you guys can go over there too, I guess. Over there. Gav. They just stack up here. I mean, this is stupid. I mean, why? Why was it designed this way? Up to 82 divisions. Infinite manpower, basically. A couple of fighters here and there. Uh, more ambitious warship designs. War battleships are quite an expensive type of ship, the production of which we could usually prefer to avoid, unfortunately. The sea technology race is merciless and requires us to build heavy ships capable of dominating the sea with their firepower. Time to show what a fleet can do. The, ma the, the maneuvers at sea, in the face of our efforts to modernize the fleet, seems to be fairly appropriate. Summary of the effort we put in. Thank you, my developers, for just making this one heck of a grindy experience. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Why? This is not even. A, this is barely a core. And to go to this extreme, just capitulate one stupid country? No, this this ain't it, man. This ain't it.
Hmm. I'm sorry that I'm taking so long with this. It just... The game is very laggy. There's nothing we can do about it. Uh, it, of course, it had to be in a mountain tile, too. Yeah, cleaning them up a little bit. You're actually going to win here or what? Oh, we got it. Is that going to be it, or am I going to have to conquer more of Romania now? Oh, this piece deal actually fired? Wow, thanks, mod developers. I'm sorry that I'm so negative about this. It's just, that shouldn't exist. That, look at look, look at this. Look at this. The Danubian Federation. Basically all Czechoslovakia. Almost, literally, all of Hungary, except for one stupid little thing, tile over there. Uh, the Bal Balkans, of course, and Austria. That's, that's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. Can't go. F I can't approve it. Just can't approve it. I'm sorry that I'm so negative. It's just no. It's just no. That's dumb design. But if the mod developers are still working on it, I do. I want to say that I'm interested in seeing what they can do for the future. For the future. Just because there's a, so much potential here. But I, I've got to end the episode. I, I got to stop ripping my hair out with this stuff. I'd love to kill Poland off, but I'm sure I'm going to kill Poland off in a campaign at the time of recording relatively soon but hey if you somehow found uh enjoyment in this video and if you're still watching thank you very much for watching uh leave a like subscribe if you're new check out my discord link in the description below and i'll see you tomorrow where hopefully it won't be raging too hard and hopefully we'll have a great great time thanks for watching have a great rest of your day